Okay, for this problem, we're using external files to save data and then recover the data. And we also want to ask the user how many students there are and then enter some scores and then figure out which is the highest score. And so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use a variable called numstudents, get an input from the user and say how many students are there question mark and then I want to deal with my my file since we'll be saving this offline student mm -hmm. move my mouse so I can read student data file and this isn't the file itself this is just a variable that points to the file um, I want to open the file and then now we're going to name the actual file. Let's call it student scores dot text. And when I open a file, I have to tell it what I want to do with the file. And so I want to be able to write to that file student scores dot text. So now I'm just going to do a for loop for student in range. And if I just did range num students, it would work. But I actually want, instead of counting from like 0 to 4, if I have 5 students, I want to count from 1 to 5. I'll explain why in just a second. So I'm going to do 1 to num students plus 1. Okay, and so if I got 5 students, that's going to be the numbers 1 through 5. And then I'm going to say score equals let's do another input to get the score from the user uh, this is say what is the score for student plus we'll use a string convert a number to a string and this is where student is now the numbers one through five and not zero through four if that's how many we have and then I can just add a question mark and I put a space there to make it a little bit more uh, readable and then I'm going to say uh, student data file and I'm going to write this information to the student data file and uh, it pretty much needs to be at least my understanding needs to be a string so I'm going to convert the score to a string. And if I just left it right here, let's go ahead and run this, see if it works first of all. Let's say there's three students, 12, 34, and 56. Program ends, I'm not doing anything with the data. But if I open up that score or that uh, file, I've got 12, 34, 56. And I don't have any way to, to uh, separate because I don't know if this is 12 or 123 or 1 and 23. And so to fix that, I'm going to go right here and I'm going to add a carriage return. You could do anything you want. You could add dots. Uh, uh, but I, I like the thought of a carriage return. And so I'm going to put it in quotes. And it's going to be the reverse slash and an N. And so now when I run it, Let's say there's three students. Let's go 56, 78, 8, or 90. And then when I open that file, I got 56, 78, 90. And so those still have those carriage returns there, those backslash ends uh, that we'll have to get, get rid of when we take, uh, when we uh, reclaim the data. But uh, it certainly allows us to, to treat the data separately. Um, all we have to do now for the first part is again go to student data file and we should close it before we do anything else. And that ends the first half of the program. That's not a hashtag. Um, and so I'm just going to put a line there to remind me when I look at the code that it's kind of two parts. So now what I want to do is I want to open the file. And use it. So I'm going to use the same variable. It's that's not necessary, but I already have it saved. Uh, I have to do the exact same 
file student scores dot text and this time when I want to open it I want to open it to read and so I'm going to put an R in those parentheses and there's a couple of different uh, ways to process this um, I like doing the read lines because that will actually gather all of the data at once and put it into a uh, a list. So student data files, read lines, and then that's a function so we need the uh, parentheses. And then I'm going to do the main part of the program. I'm going to say max score is equal to zero to keep track of the max score. And then I'm going to go through each of these students. So I'm going to say for student score in the data list. And so I'm going to take that first line. And again, if we look at the data I looked at earlier, it's not just a 56. Uh, again, this is a string. It's not just a 56. It's a 56 with the slash n. Uh, so I'm going to say um, score string equals the student score because student score is a string with the slash n dot and there's a couple ways to do this as well but I like using replace so I'm going to replace the slash n with an empty string. And so effectively, that's how you can get rid of uh, symbols that you don't want. Um, and, and just, we're not there yet, but let me go ahead and print score string. And this is when you're programming. I like to do this just to make sure it's working up to a, a spot. How many students are there? Let's say there's four students now, 11, 22, 33, and 44. And then it prints off 11, 22, 33, and 44. And so it is, in fact, uh, finding the, uh, extracting the data from the list. And we know that it has eliminated this because the prints uh, has one carriage return. And if we didn't get rid of this, there would be two carriage returns. No idea if that makes sense. Uh, but it does to me, and I'm moving on. Um, okay, so then what we do is say score. Okay, that score string is a uh, string, and so we need to convert it to a number. And I can do that with the command float, and then I can just process it now. F score is greater than max score. Then we say max score equals score. Okay, and then all we have to do is go outside of the uh, the for loop and say print the highest score is and leave a space and then plus and then str score no 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 max score and then finally what we always want to do uh, whenever we open a file we want to make sure that we come back and close the file that should be a dot and if we don't do that then that eats up a lot of memory and uh, makes our computer slower over time. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, let's say there are five students. Uh, let's go 20, th ooh, okay, two, th 33, 65, 34, and 47, and the high score is 65. Um, if for some reason you wanted to have integers, you would use, uh, you wouldn't use float. I think, I think you'd use integer, but I don't know, know that off the top of my head. And, um, that is the code for how you solve that problem.
writing to external files and then reading back in.